Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about how I made meatloaf in my Hanes 2.0 solar oven. And I know you can look up other videos on how to make meatloaf in a solar oven, but I created a different method. And I really like my method because the flavor profile is amazing. Okay, so typically when people advise you to make meatloaf in a solar oven, what they tell you to do is to cut up all of your ingredients and incorporate it with your meat and your breadcrumbs and all that stuff and do all of that in one step and form your loaf, stick it in the solar oven for however long and you're done. However, I am a big fan of sauteing vegetables before putting them into um, things like meatloaf, which honestly, I've never made meatloaf before. This was my first attempt ever, not just in a solar oven, but just ever. For some reason, I just never made it. But ever since I got my solar oven, I kept think I've been thinking, you know, I really want to make meatloaf. But when I saw the videos online, as I said, doing it all in one step, I thought, hmm, I wonder if I can recreate the sauteing method in the solar oven. So what I did was I cut up my peppers, onions, garlic, and tomatoes and put them in a cast iron skillet. And you can see the glass lid over top is too big for the skillet. It's actually from my wok. But um, so I was just kind of like jerry-rigging and trying to um, figuring, you know, just trying to use what I had to create the effect that I wanted. So I actually left these vegetables in for about two hours and two hours later you can see that they've cooked down some. Some of them are starting, like especially the garlic is starting to get brown, but the tomatoes were still a little too full. So I um, mixed them up with the spatula and put it back in the sun for another two hours. And so after four hours, this is what my vegetables look like and you can see they look like they've been sauteed now of course you can create this exact same effect or almost the exact same effect on a stovetop by sauteing for 15 minutes so if time is of the essence obviously you should saute your vegetables on a stovetop however what I really liked about the outcome of doing this slow saute method is that um you know how if you cook things over fire or over heat, um, you can burn your vegetables, which actually creates carcinogens. So this is a method of cooking that will, you, you'll never get any carcinogens because this is not um, a dry fire heat. This is a solar, almost like an intense greenhouse effect to the point of baking things. But you can see that the tomatoes are nicely dehydrated and the onions are glassy. They look, everything looks like it's been sauteed. And even though, yes, this is a very long method, four hours to saute vegetables, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. The meatloaf outcome was amazing. So anyways, that's what I did here, four hours of sauteing. And then I added my other ingredients. So I have some ground beef, and um, there's a little, they sell local pork sausage at a shop at the end of my street that I got. I needed to use up my oyster crackers, so I added those in. Um, two eggs. I probably should have done three eggs, but anyways, I did two. Worcestershire sauce, butter. Um, th the recipes I looked for online called for sour cream, but I just used mayonnaise instead because I didn't have sour cream. I added thyme black pepper, salt, and a little bit of bacon fat. And then I toasted three slices of bread and crunched those up. Now, one thing about meatloaf is they say you don't want to over mix it, the ingredients. So I just um, lightly mixed everything, incorporated it all together, added my vegetables, and I actually ended up separating it into two pans here and added ketchup on top. And then I stuck them back into my Josephine, my solar oven, and I cooked these meatloafs from 2 o'clock till 6 o'clock. So 
you know, if you're pressed for time and you don't have time to saute your vegetables in the two-step method, then you should be able to stick it all together and it should be done in probably three hours in this solar oven. Other solar ovens, it takes longer, but remember the, the Hanes 2.0, the way it's shaped, it allows for faster cooking. So I think that this meatloaf would have been done in three hours, but I wanted it to be warm when my husband came home, so I just left it in. And so this meatloaf ended up cooking in four hours. Around five o'clock, I threw in some vegetables, and I will say that they got a little bit warm, but because they're not sitting right there at the focal point at the bottom of this silver bowl, that's where the heat is, is right there at the bottom. So they didn't get cooked really well. I had to finish them off in the microwave, but, you know, it still got some, they at least got some light and vitamin D from the sun added, so that's worth it. So this is the meatloaf finished, and you can see there's a lot of liquid around the edge. Most meatloaf recipes call for adding milk, and I did not add any liquid to it. I know a lot of this liquid is the fat, because these were super burning hot when I took them out of the oven. So I know that that was mostly fat, but I still wanted to drain it off, so I did. I drained it off outside and this is what it looks like drained, but you can see how well it's cooked and it's, you know, you can see it's coming away from the sides of the pan, so it's fully done. And here, oh, there's my vegetables. Here, everything is plated and you can see, um, and I don't know how to describe, I hate in these videos when people eat the food at the end, it's like, I have no idea what that tastes like and I'm glad that you think it tastes good, but it could taste like crap. And just because you're eating it doesn't mean it tastes good. <laughs> but anyways, I'm here to tell you this meatloaf is probably, if not the best meatloaf I've ever had, it's definitely in my top three. It was so incredibly delicious. Like all the flavor was just so deep and like, Oh my gosh, it was amazing. So savory, really good. Um, if you remember my last video, I made a macaroni casserole. And so I toasted that in the toaster oven to get it a little bit brown on top and added my vegetables. So um, this is everything here was cooked at least in part in the solar oven. And it was all amazing. And I'm so excited that it made so much you, with the two pans. Um, we're going to be eating meatloaf for a few days but I'm so, I'm so delighted by the outcome of this meatloaf that I just wanted to share that if you want to really take your meatloaf up a notch, try doing it in this two-step method by sauteing your vegetables first for four hours and then cooking the entire thing again for another four hours. The outcome is amazing. It's so good. Anyways, thank you for watching.